All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. <clears throat> I have a very strained voice for some reason. But we're going to try to muddle through this, okay? We're going to try to go for the mun and Kerbal. So uh, let me go over here and check audio and just see how horrible this sounds. It doesn't sound too bad. <clears throat> but I, I got a lot of, a lot of <clears throat> that going on. So let's get into the game. And as always, uh, FX Editor, thank you so much for the 34 months, man. I really appreciate that. What do I want to do? Oh, yeah. Seekian. Not Beacon. Well, I need to move that. Um, um, well, some other time. <clears throat> so I like to do this before <clears throat> each time I run to make sure I have the most latest and greatest. <laughs> and we have an update for oh wait a minute so it wants to update my field training facility hmm I've already updated and actually see it says 1.2.0 that would actually I think that's older than what I'm running right let's see So in that case, let's see here. If we go to space dock, see it still says it's an older version. <clears throat> so I don't know where it would download it from. See on the GitHub site, it's actually 1.2.1.1. So I'm not gonna do that. Can't make me. So if we go here and then here, and if we look at the, well, we could look at the, the DLL. Hey, Techno, how you doing? <clears throat> you gonna do some lurking? Cool. So this says 1.2.1. Yeah, I'm, I, I got here. So I'm not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. No, we're not. All right, let's get into the uh, career here. Um. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that, editor. <clears throat> yeah, it's cold today. Um, well, it was colder when I woke up. You know, something I forgot to do was, I can do it later. Huh. <clears throat> I'm talking to myself. Oh, yay. Hopefully you don't have any more traveling between now and, you know, Christmas. So we deployed some um, communication relays around Kerbin last time in a very unorthodox way. It was Kerbal assisted and it worked out. Last trip of the year. Yay. All right, so let's do this, do this. And I can get rid of all of this. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'm gonna be doing that a lot and I, I really apologize for that. Yeah, I'm adding something to the grocery list here. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting ready to go to work. Well, I'm at work. <laughs> so there's our communication satellites. They were also just arbitrarily launched one in a polar orbit too. Anyway. <clears throat> um. We have 574 science. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. We were going to put our, our space station in orbit, too. All right, we got some stuff to do today. We do. Let me take a look at this real quick. So this would get us to orbit. If we don't have any failures, this would all get us to orbit. Thanks, Ren. <clears throat> I want to try something. So if I look at the numbers here, this is orbit around Kerbin, these two stages. Now, if we get to vacuum, this stage right here has enough delta V to get us to the moon. And this has got enough to get us back. Let's just, um, <clears throat> so we need a, a pilot. Hey, wow, everyone's back. Ooh, we can take a scientist. Oh, we don't have any science. All right. So, yeah, we're going to do some altering here. Um, so this is ready to come back home. I don't have an antenna. Oh, yeah, we do. Never mind. We could do some very... <clears throat> oh, that's new. Yay. Um... So let's grab us a pilot. <clears throat> Saturn, you're going to be our pilot. And then race is going to be our scientist. No, it'll work. Can't deploy. I think, I think the rule is, well, you may be right. You may be right. But I'm not worried about that because the, the fairing is going to come off once we get in orbit. This is mainly... Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, we're going to find out right now. <laughs> yep, you're right. All right. And that's okay. Um... We got a pilot, we got a scientist. All right, so let's put these guys not at 700 kilometers. Let's go for, um, go for 150. It looks good. Three. Oh, look at that. We can, oh, I didn't know we could do that. I don't want to do that. <clears throat> Two, one. <laughs> Uh, so a total unscheduled idea is that since this worked for Kerbin, why would this not work for the MUN? If we have enough fuel to get these guys to the MUN, that would be this delivery stage to deliver all these, they've got enough fuel in their capsule, in their pod, to get back. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All we need is an uneventful launch, orbit, insertion to the MUN, and then leaving the MUN. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. Because this is take care of getting Kerbals 
um, run and back. And also we'll pull, put some uh, satellites in orbit. And again, we're not doing any stage recoveries here except for that stage. Fourth generation, nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I made a huge mistake yesterday. So Pookie loves to sleep in the um, in the flat boxes usually when you buy cases of soda or whatever like that. He loves sleeping in that box. I upgraded it to a much larger box and I threw all of his toys in there and he's over there bouncing around with them right now. Yeah, mistakes. All right, so far, so good. <clears throat> there we go, we got some signs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just the, the racket. Actually, let's do this for a sec. want that to uh <clears throat> uh oh you got you got a problem here oh. I didn't want to finish and have these stages aren't independent of one another they're dumb stages I don't want to leave them in orbit <clears throat> so we've got uh, 3,000 Delta V, 3,300. We only need 243 to finish our orbit. Yeah. Hey, Electro, how you doing? <clears throat> yeah, it just started last night. It's a uh, uh, got a little throat thing. I didn't take my temperature today, but I feel okay. I just uh, all right. There's orbit. This fairing. All right, so we want to get to the MUN. Thing about it is, I don't know if these relays will reach the relays around the MUN. Your sore throat is when zinc supplement is ideal. I took my, my multivitamin. <clears throat> Have you noticed that some herbs taste much better at Christmas? I did not. It's a wonderful time of the year. Yep, yep, that's gonna deserve one of those. All right, 808 Delta V. Actually, let me, let me check something here. Um, I know, I know. 
So let's check this out. And let's say I put them at 700 kilometers. <clears throat> All right, that works. That gives us clearance. Can we do 800 kilometers? I think 800 kilometers would be better. All right. You can only go so far until you leave the SOI though. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, close enough. 820 Delta V on that burn. Now again, we're not supporting any RCS, so making these Little adjustments with the satellites. We have to use the engines and limit the thrust and you know all that all that jazz. Hey, there's the mun. <clears throat> uh oh, Mr. Burn, maybe. I don't know why I have so many weird calculations in Kerbal now. Yeah, it's um actually it's it's um right there. Since I have a pilot, I'm not too worried about it. Staring at poop. Making a lot of noise. makes a racket all right all right how do we do on that um it's not bad i wanted 700 though uh we're gonna fix that when we get here so let's get here <clears throat> stop grab some science oh we can do an eva too Excuse me. So let's go and do an orbit and we're going to clean this up. We need 215. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hey, it's the man. Cool. <coughs> I do apologize. Now it's interesting, we've got no connection. We're gonna have to deploy another satellite. I think we have bigger dishes with, with this craft. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get like halfway. Oh, that's true, you're right. You're very true, very true. Um, all right, so we want to kind of uh, <clears throat> fix this a little bit. So this it's going to be not terribly hard to do it. So let's point prograde. <laughs> I didn't even, I, I thought just at this altitude, I'd be able to. Yeah, okay. I was just assuming I could see that one relay. All right, let's zip over to here. Ah, there's communication. Now, that's with KSC. We're bouncing off the satellites. Now, <clears throat> being that these satellites can combine, I think right now the craft is getting the combined range and strength of all three of these. So what we're going to we're going to find something. All right, so let's do this. Let's take this engine. Put it down to 10. And um do that, do that. We're 23, <clears throat> excuse me, 23 minutes away. So let's get closer. <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. So I'll give you guys a little update on the house. Alex and I yesterday went over to the house, spent like three hours, and it doesn't sound like we did a whole lot, but the, the whole house has got storm windows um, over the windows, and they're just cruddy and full of cobwebs and stuff like that. So we've been, each time we work on a room, like we, we absolutely finished the bathroom. There's just a couple of little dings uh, that I need to fill in some mud and sand it and then repaint it. And that bathroom is done. It's clean. It's got completely renovated and stuff like that. Now we're moving into the hall, which is a little bit easier because there's no windows, <clears throat> but it's got a lot of, um, there was a lot of nails and tacks and staples um, and a lot of uh, uh, settling cracks. And so I've been just filling those in with mud and where the frame, like framework around a door has separated. I'm just using caulk to, to, um, to tap silicone caulk and it dries white and uh tell you just when you start filling in all these gaps and stuff like this and then start covering up all the the gouges from uh, nails and all those holes and stuff like that it just really makes a huge difference and then of course probably um i don't have an uh, a punch and some of the nails that are protruding i need a need a punch to get them in there so i ordered one of those it'll be here on monday and uh that means Tuesday, I'll go over there and start punching in all these nails that have come out over the years and uh, fill those in with some wood putty. And uh, I think all we have to do is uh, wipe everything down, vacuum it, and uh, uh, start painting. And then, you know, if there's a rough spot, we go through and uh, make an adjustment. All right, so I want to push this out. <clears throat> No, that's a that's a lot of work. Um, it really is. I mean, the house was built 
uh, about 73 years ago, the original part of the house. And then the add-on I think was done in 69. So the only room that was to code was the very last room that they added on. It was done with Romax and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, the, and then to be honest with you, when they remodeled the bathroom, they used screws. So, um, I mean, going forward, anything we do, we're gonna modernize it. Right, so let's, I wanna push this out to 700 is what I wanna do. But the nails I'm talking about aren't the nails in the drywall. Uh, it's the nails in the frame, like when they, uh, they, you know, you go at an angle, you go into a frame and it's kind of poked out. I just want to push that in and finish it. It's not really that much work. It's just, you know, you you do one look at something, you go, oh, okay. So, and then you, you notice something else and then you notice something else. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, my bad. I want to push this out to 700. <laughs> and then I, I finally figured out what I'm going to do for a workbench top. I found a couple ideas and a couple plans and stuff like that. And I found one that's very simple. It uses two by fours and um, plywood. <clears throat> um, I think actually I have pretty much all the ply or all the two by fours I need from when we tore down this building that was attached to the house. Uh, they're they're still very good, um, but I wanted not to have a. I wanted a top on the workbench, but I wanted to have about a three inch lip all the way around so I could clamp stuff to it. And I got this idea of using one of the doors that we've removed, but it's a it's a decorative door. You know, it's got, if you look at most doors, they're just not flat. They've got some decoration. I'm thinking, well, all right, maybe I could fill it with epoxy. That was not such a good idea. Hang on. Oops. Uh, all right, hang on. <clears throat> I thought it'd be kind of cool, but then I wanted to do, I don't know what they're called, but on most uh, assembly tables, they have holes filled in so you can put your clamps so you, it'll keep your material from moving around. If I used epoxy, then it would crack and get all weird and... All right, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do this one more time. And then I thought about, wait a minute, what if I get just get some MFD glue that to it, glue it like crazy, and then I'll have a nice flat worktop and I can put a trim around it and don't worry about, you know. Uh, okay, wait, hang on, hang on. I'm talking too much. Uh, let's make this a one. Ah, ha, ha, I did it again. I'm hoping to replace my fireplace with a good one before they get banned. Oh, I, I read that. I read where someone said that their fireplace is is, is no longer allowed. Uh, maybe a Furion electric one? I mean, you got solar. All right. There we go. Hey, look at that. <clears throat> All right, so now that we got that, let's put this back to 10. There's a fireplace in, in the computer room, but it's capped. No, no, the, a real fireplace, but a good one that uses outside air, glass front for an red, Oh, I got you. All right. All right. Cool. Now we're going to get an insert. <clears throat> the house actually had, um, it has a fireplace, but like I said, it's capped. My folks, uh, my folks fireplace will run the entire day 
on five pieces of wood save wow that's incredible that is incredible <clears throat> um and when they added on the house the fireplace couldn't actually get enough heat to the rest of the house so they put a coal burning heater in the front part it's gone but the they, and they cover up the hole and you can tell where it was it's, it's so there's two chimneys it's kind of funny but now we got that whole central thing and it works really good too i'm actually very perplexed the home it's a brick home all right so you have the outside is brick and then of course you got studs and then you got sheetrock and there's no insulation except for in the ceiling and that house if i set set the terms thermostat to 62 it stays 62 it does i'm i'm uh, very impressed all right so we just want to round this out over here so we're going to get within about a minute and start our thrust and i just finished insulating all the walls i, I put pictures on discord in uh in the garage all right the old stuff had been there for at least 30 years and when I started, when I bought just enough to do one wall, because I thought I'm gonna pull the old stuff off the house side and put it on the non-house side, and pretty much all of them down at the bottom, there was mice. <laughs> uh, not, they, they weren't there, the, the remnants of them was there, holes and other gross stuff. So I had to throw that all away. <clears throat> so I actually said, let's just insulate the whole thing. I went, okie doke. And uh, of course the roughest part was insulating <coughs> behind the hot water heater. And um, there was, there's a window on the non house side and the bay after the window is 16 inches and the <laughs> insulation is 15 inches. So um, I had to use duct tape. Yes, I know, but it's gonna be covered up with sheetrock. So, all right, let's give this a try. Uh, let's reduce our thrust to five. All right, let's get within a minute again. <clears throat> I've been doing a little bit of research on uh, the mini split and uh, it, it seems like it's, and um, I have to be careful not to get one that runs on 220 because uh, I'd like to, well, once I finish the garage, I want to insulate the roof. There's this very interesting um, vent material that you can put. So you maintain the venting and then you can put insulation over that. Um, once I get it, insulated i want to get a means to keep it comfortable in there all right coming up on the one minute Oop. oh that was the wrong oh look what i did <laughs> i'm an idiot i'm an idiot too many buttons on the keyboard All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> let's wait for this to settle down. Good. Doesn't have to be exact, but I want it pretty darn close. Let's get within about 30 seconds this time. Almost there.
So after the new year, we're gonna get some sheetrock and I'm gonna start sheetrocking the uh, garage. And uh, then hopefully I can start filming me playing around with my solar stuff. That should be interesting. Oh, so close. That way you guys can tell me what I'm doing wrong and right. <laughs> my folks place was ingeniously insulated instead of the normal two by four or outer wall two by six. Top to bottom. Wow, nice. No, this was the garage is two by four, yeah. There's a, a little bit of a challenge because when the when the, before they got a central system, they had these kerosene heaters. Um, very, very efficient um, to heat the place and to cool the place. They were using uh, at one time they were using swamp coolers. And um, so there's a big kerosene tank in the back and it doesn't have anything in it. Or it's got like, uh, we drained it. There was like, there was like two inches of kerosene. So we drained it. We have a, we have a um, company coming out to take the tank away. And the kerosene heaters are gone. I took them to the recycling center. But the the exhaust and the, the line feed are still in the wall. <clears throat> and it goes to the brick. So I have to learn how to do masonry work. <laughs> and I think I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to take a chisel and chisel out the affected bricks and replace them. Because we have, when they brick the house or when they add it on, there's plenty of extra bricks left over. So, All right. We don't have to do much here, so I'm gonna wait until we get about 20 seconds here. And in fact, let's um, do Santa stand a one. All right, here we go. Oh. Just a little more, I'll be happy. Should be happy with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. The one thing that's unusual about the framing of this house, I've come across it three different times that, hang on. Oh, okay, I'm gonna, I can live with that. <clears throat> the, um, so your normal frame, right? You, you got studs that go this way and then you have fire breaks that go this way. Well, the it's interesting because there are fire breaks, but then they also, like, let's say you have, um, you know, you have stud, stud, and then you have a fire break. They also did two by fours going this way. And um, when the electricians over there, they, they had never seen that before. And the only thing I could figure is when they built the house originally was to help with, uh, and there's actually, there's two metal rods at one end of the, at both ends of the house. Now you'd say, oh, that's your home ground. No, there, I, there's a different rod for the home ground. It's for uh, lightning. So back in the day, I guess it was uh, a lot of tornadoes went through here. And so those were rods for tornado or uh, lightning. And so I think maybe because of the tornadoes, the added support was to make it more sturdy. Anyway, enough about possible construction. So this is not dead on, but it's really, really accurate. So what we're going to do here is we're going to zip over here. And we're going to change this back. <clears throat> um, uh, so, uh, so really close to the AP here. We're going to drop off our first satellite for the month. Now I'm not a woodworker. Uh, I, the only, <clears throat> the only experience I have with construction <laughs> too, is when I was really, when I was young, I, I'm going to say I was a freshman in high school 
I was living with my dad for uh, about a year, um, and we built an extension to the house. It was like a, it was it was long. So he did he did all the framing, and you know I helped, and uh, you know hammering nails, and you know he was a man with a plan. So whenever I got in the way, I I got go go play, you know. But when it came to putting on the shingles, my little hands came in handy because you got those little tack, but I kept missing half the time and hit my fingers. It was so cold, I couldn't feel it. Um, and then uh, and then I got a job for about a year. I was doing uh, some drywall. I wasn't actually hanging a whole lot of drywall. I was doing, um, uh, putting up the mud and putting up tape. And then they had a guy that would go in behind us and would you know fan it all out and stuff like that. But I helped a lot with that and I learned a lot. All right, so let's deploy our first <clears throat> satellite here. Uh, it's got an antenna. Let's get the solar panels out. Not that we really have to worry about that. And I don't know why, but I, I included a little emergency communication antenna because heart failures, you know? All right. And then we're gonna have the stack separator. Nice. So let's switch to it. Give this a name. That would be under command. Rename. This is going to be A. All right. And then we need to, since we're actively on this probe, we need to get its orbital information here. I picked up a little bit here and there since my parents owned a rental home. Oh yeah, yeah, isn't that incredible? You can pick, and it's like I didn't want to do it, but your your attention for certain things. So, I mean, I'm not good at drywall. I'm not. I can I can muscle it in. You know, I'm a I'm a big guy. I'm three six foot three, about three hundred and fifteen pounds. So there's a lot of stuff I can lift. I mean, I'm getting old, so sometimes the next day I feel it. But, um, you know, hauling stuff and, and cleaning something up that's all wobbly, I, I can do that. I can, I, I'm a semi-human forklift. And, you know, lining it up and putting in drywall screws. We did the whole, this room here, the wall that's right here, it used to be all paneling. We did sheetrock and mud and folding and stuff like that. All right, so uh, I am looking at this right here. So our overall information is five hours. 50 minutes. Now, you don't need a mod to get this information, by the way. This is uh, minutes 19.925 because it's actually right here, too. You just don't get the that, and I want that. So you're going to stay there. We're not going to do anything. We're going to switch over to this, and we're going to have the computer plot us a resonant orbit so we can make our deployments. So we want to change this to do that. Everything's set, create a node and uh oh, uh, all right, hang on. Hopefully, so that's in 11 minutes, nine minutes. Uh, we might run into this five minutes. All right, it's in three minutes. So let's see what happens if we do this. Oh, this is going to be bad. We might actually. Oh, I think we're going to get lucky. All right, so abort this for right now. Uh, no, I forgot to uh, pack RCS. I mean, we got it. I just forgot to do it. <clears throat> um, so let's face this retrograde. <laughs> so we've got two minutes till the burn. What I could do is I could limit this down, maybe. Nah. Let's see what happens here. Well, there's not a whole lot of drift going on. Yeah, that's gonna 
That's going to catapult that guy away. Not good. Not good. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so how do we fix this? <laughs> that was entertaining. Because what I should have done is instead of deploying that satellite so close to the APS, I should have deployed it further out here. Um, so that that little guy is way out of... Yeah, his orbital period's out of whack. Okay. Um, hang on a sec. Maybe we can fix this. All right, let's... um. Let's face him like this because he's got communication. And if we. So our PE is what? 701. What? I'm confused. Oh, oh, I pushed that out. Oh, I did that wrong. All right, hang on. So what if we put this at the proper altitude ish that's close enough I think I got tired of trying to do all this. So anytime I play now, I do several sets and really essential. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kind of a, a Malena sort of that how you pronounce that. <laughs> I have fun doing this though. I think this is a, <coughs> right throat. Um, I don't think I can fix this. 699 by 700. All right, it's close enough. So let's take a look at the new orbital period. Five hours, 50 minutes, and it's 13. All right, so it's a little, little different. 13 dot. I know it's not very exciting to watch, but I think it's cool. So we can leave him alone. And, uh... Ricolay. Turn off his engine. Oh, of course. Uh, 
That was weird. All right. So now we have the resonant orbit. <clears throat> So this satellite, hang on a sec, doesn't have, oh, it's fine. It's just how it should be. Oh, it doesn't have a perfect circular orbit, but we're going to say it's at a 700 by 700. So it's pretty close by Kerbin standards, I, I suppose. <clears throat> so as long as we match the altitude and the orbital period, satellite should stay pretty much in sync. All right, so now we want to, um, so way out here, <laughs> actually, let's go about here. <clears throat> All right. Get rid of the stack separator. The one thing that if anyone ever replicates this, set all your decouplers or stack separators, make sure their ejection force are at zero. Otherwise, when they decouple, they'll, they'll be out of place. It's a, it's a big help. So again, solar panel. Solar panel. Little emergency antenna. And then with this guy, we say do a circular at altitude and we're at 700. Before we do anything. Oh dear. <coughs> this could be another problem. I think this one's going to clear. gonna fly right under it oh there we go yay oh wait no oh, that's fine <laughs> should be okay right guys yeah you know if you can't have near misses and fun and Kerbal oh I forgot to activate the engine <laughs> Um, I, it means that we had a late burn. Oh, I'm messing it up again. All right, close enough. Then what we need to do is get that orbit to match. Five hours, so we need 48 minutes. There's a 48 minute or 50 minutes, sorry. And we need 13, six. Ah, uh, close enough. All right. Oh, then we need to name this guy. All right. 
right, so should be okay. Then we go back to this one. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> And we do the same thing. Mindbender, since Disney owns Star Wars, does that make Princess Leia? It does. It does. <laughs> oh, we had a... Uh... The command modules suffered a short circuit. That's okay, because we have some redundant power systems there. All right, so panels, antenna, panels. Engine and um, oh, that looks so much better. <clears throat> we want to again circularize. Oops, that's not where I no, no, no. Okay, that should be fine. <clears throat> At least that's how I view it. All right, set that on prograde. Um, let's name it. Let's get the orbital. Wow. It's actually pretty darn close. <clears throat> I'm not any, I don't have fun at that game. Yeah, you know, maybe I should get in a mindset that if I, if the replicants die, they die. But you got to worry about the morale. Oh, God. It's, it's actually what I want to do is I want to play some, um, um, I picked this up. And uh, that that looks like a lot of fun, and it's got multiplayer. So after the holidays, I'm going to see if Red wants to try it out. I think he picked it up too. Thirteen. Can, can I even go? No, that's about the smallest I can. Close enough. So with any luck, um, <clears throat> if we do that, hey, look at that. It is a triangle. Yeah, I, I just, I can only get so far in that game because you. I think you have to have a, <clears throat> well, not only does it look like FTL, but you have a crew, uh, you can make the ship. You, you can create however you want it. And there's different types of weapons and where FTL is you're locked to, you unlock other ships so you get some more room and the weapons are all the same. So, yay, we got that. <clears throat> all right, let's get the, oh wait. This one actually needs to. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Alright, where's the guys? I got a little carried away. I played a real early version of it and had a lot of fun with it. Alright, so how much Delta V do we got? Plenty of Delta V. So uh, we're going to tell the computer here to turn us back to the moon. Battery short circuit on us. <laughs> you know, originally when they announced the game and they had the hangers, I actually purchased a hanger. I, I don't know if I know how to get to it or if I, I don't even know if I still have it. Hangers didn't exist in game anymore. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I purchased something because I, oh, oh, geez. Oh, I forgot we we're coming in the other way. Oh, almost died. Almost killed Kerbals. Actually, I wouldn't have killed him because the PE. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> June. Now, from what I understand, Stationers did something rather interesting about the trading. They tr they changed the trade, which I never got up and running all by myself. So what we're going to do here, as soon as we get a better orbit here, we're going to uh, So what we're going to do is we're going to point retrograde here. I have to go and unlock my tanks. And we want this stage to go bye-bye. Oh, I lost a panel. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh. Get away from me.
All right, we're safe. <clears throat> um, we'll deal with that. I again want to try to land Kerbals close to the um, desert. I have only done it once. <clears throat> what about um what's the other game called zion or something like that exion or that looked I, I gave that a try during the demo Inclination changes are very expensive when it comes to Delta B. Hey, discount. Uh, Ixion seems to have mixed reviews. Always good to check those reviews. How you doing, Discount? Guys, there's a link for Discount Engineer. Playing Oxygen Not Included, one of my... One of my extremely ragey games. Especially when those guys die. They dig themselves into no escape zones. I have to reprioritize everyone to dig them a ladder or to build a ladder. I just... I, I have fun in that game up to a certain point. But again, I have this mindset to where I don't want any of them to die. All right, so we got 3,500 Delta V left. <clears throat> AP is pretty high. Um, let's see here. What have you been up to, Discount? <clears throat> been playing all sorts of cool, crafty engineering game. Not losing dupes in Oni is hard. They are just so intent on getting... Okay, so I'm not the only one. Good. Oh, our antenna broke. I did too. They right when I was doing my um, my hydroponics, they changed it right in the middle of my hydroponics. I don't think it had a negative effect on it, but uh, I have to read up on it. it. It's like everything takes a lot longer now, which I guess a lot of people are actually happy about. All right. So before I forget some activate some shoots <clears throat> I 
That's really high up. I didn't realize my AP was so high. Oh, no, no, stop. So if we just pull this back. No. Running out of options here. <clears throat> I th what I do discount is I go into the settings file and I change the uh I change the uh hunger rate to what I want because the settings they have now it's not very flexible, so but uh, otherwise, yeah, it's it's uh, it's different, not as flexible. <clears throat> I don't mind not having to. Actually, I don't mind that I have to go to a safe place to eat and drink. That's very realistic. I wish they would integrate it to where, just like on the Apollo, right? When they wanted to take some water, they they had a camel pack basically. So you gotta you gotta really kind of speed up your process to um presence base whoa Let's do that again you gotta really speed up getting to a um a quick and dirty uh hydroponics we need to burn no 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 stop Oh, I'm going to kill these guys. Okay. Not in the atmosphere yet. Oh, got a liquid fuel tank leak. Oh, Release. <laughs> oh, there's the airstrip. However, I'm going to pass over an Easter egg, I think. So on the other side of this mountain right here. So here's the desert. But when you pass this over, there's going to be. Uh, we're going to land right in the middle of the mountains here. There is a. Um, um, like some sort of a not, not a pyramid, but some sort of an. There it is right there. So those that didn't know that's one of the Easter eggs, so it's they're from the desert. Shoots, please. Thank you. It's 
So if we take, um, have him do EVA. And then does he have a parachute? He does not have a parachute. I was about, <laughs> I was about to have him parachute over there, but he does not have a parachute. <laughs> oh, that was not funny. I've done that before, assuming my, I forgot that when you do experience, they don't get parachutes until level two or something like that. I agree with you, Discount. So we went to the moon, came back. We didn't take our full science package with us, but um, we deployed some communication satellites. <clears throat> yes, that's exactly what it is, yes. I didn't know it was there until the last career because again i i overshot hey crew report nice all right let's go ahead and uh cover these guys I, uh, the 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 ones I have the Kraken corpse I have not been to and I haven't found the monolith on Duna I know where it is I just I just can't seem to land close enough to it and that's because I've always had a life support mod and um, the uh, Neil Armstrong been there the um, the arch on the moon. I've only seen it once, but I haven't flown through it. I'd like to do that. Uh, or drive through it. Um, I've seen the Kerbin face on Duna. I've been to the UFO crash. I've flown over the UFO crash site, but I haven't landed to it. So I'm, ooh, 192 science. Wow. Oh. There you go. Ooh, look at all the metal. All right. That was pretty darn successful. So what does it take to get 300? All right. <clears throat> oh, yeah, no, I am. Um, somebody told me about Easter eggs and I thought they were talking about back before they made the monolith visible. I think you used to be able to go out there and you'd get science because you discovered the monolith, but then they made it visible or, or something like that. All right, what do we have here? Uh, I think we're going to unlock that, that, we have 300 science left, ooh, oh, more science, and a bigger dish too, alright, I'm going for the uh, additional science here, boink, alright, Let's do another lap around the block with a new rocket. Ugh, excuse me. Ugh. Actually, let's land um let's land a relay on the mun. No, no, I want to land kerbals. <clears throat> We're gonna send kerbals around in a, in a lower orbit, pick up a lot of science, come back. Then we'll land on the mun hey tipsy how you doing then i think what i want to do is create a rover land it and then we'll do a pinpoint landing and then drive around on the mun i i i'm not a big fan of driving in this game but let's try it all right so new capsule um i'm not going to worry about rcs we're not docking yet So no, let's do this. Let's change. Let's change this up a little bit. Um, out of curiosity, does the new terrain shader give you grief, and why do you have it off? Yeah, it gives me a lag. I mean the train scatterer. Yeah, I get lag with it for some reason. It might be a mod doing it, but I used to get a lot of null refs 
also. So it might there might be a mod conflict. All right, so let's um, let's shoot. So again, these guys are just gonna go an orb around the mun, and then we'll uh we'll bring them back home. This is our main shoot. And uh, we want to make sure they have communication, just in case. <clears throat> Watched a really good movie a couple days ago. Um, the Intimidation Game, based upon true story uh what's his name was it uh the guy that plays doc strange cumberbund um and it had a lot of it had two actors also from downton abbey in it too <laughs> a real good movie i thought all right so we want to keep all the science on this so let's um Wait a minute, how are we gonna do that with the science? Oh, 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 this might be uh, terrible. But if we take the science junior, oh, that might be. It's gonna get cramped in there. <laughs> All right, or do we do Oh yeah, keep forgetting about the service bays. Do I have that? I do. All right. Perfect, oh wait. Oh wait, that's not attaching to the... Uh... Ah. All right, good. All right, we'll put all the science in there. <laughs> um. And we'll detach this when we get close to Kerbin. Yeah, good idea. Fantastic idea. All right, so let's go in here. Oh, wait a minute. All right, so we're gonna have to open this when we're doing science. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's start up here. Um, that one there. And put this one back there. Did I see, need I say snacks? I'm actually, this is the first time I'm doing a career where I don't have any life support. Um, hang on, let's do this. Actually, do, this, do it like this. All right. We'll get this nice and centered. <clears throat> I'm doing this is until Kerbal 2 comes out or until it stops working. Uh, oh, so that's for landing. So we don't want that. Um, we're storing the science here. What am I missing? Oh, here. This. So that's why I'm not using a life support mod. So to make it challenging, we up the ante with uh, 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 re-entry heating. Um, we have a part failure mod and we have no ground station. So some difficulties as you know, we've all experienced. <laughs> there you go, Electro. 
you add it in here right now <laughs> well that's not right Oh, this is weird. It's like blank spaces in there or something. There you go. More procedural parts, those are coming. What do you want to be, Electro? science yeah they've showed uh some of their videos and um oh did i actually create another kerbal i did <laughs> oh okay how is he so oh all right so i'm gonna have to remove him from the roster i know how to do that all right he's uh, an exchange pilot All right, what else we got? Got that, got that. Don't need that because we're not landing. Um, that. Actually, hang on. Put this. Oh. All right, then the goo. There was someone who collected all the KSP2 videos because... Wait, there was someone who collected all the KSP2 videos because they are plastered all over the place, website, forum posts. Here, new, new sticker, yep. It's a potion. Just dummy, oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so. And we've got all the science. All right, so now let's put this in the service bay. I'm sure it's part of the service bay. It is. Good. <clears throat> um, can, can I actually... It used to be you couldn't attach things to the service bay. Oh, well, you can. All right. But I think we're going to... Uh, This will be our emergency power. This has got 150 electrical. It's also got a fuel cell. Oh, we need to change that. Uh, we want to change it to, there we go. All right, so let's start doing some uh, strutting here. All right, antenna, shoot, for science. <clears throat> um, what we need to do is put a backup shoot on this thing. Excuse me. Alex and I have been playing, okay, we've been playing Fallout 3 with the Tales of Two Wasteland mod co-op. Now, before you say, hey, I didn't know they had multiplayer in Fallout 3, they don't. We've got the same mod set up on our machines and we're doing the same quest together and it, we're, we're finding 
small little differences of like loot and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. And we just got the GNR building yesterday. Oh, whoa. I'm gonna do that. Oh, okay. You come back. Thank you. All right, let's see here. Where is the shoot? Uh, okay. Um, hmm. <clears throat> all right so let's put a decoupler here actually so this is going to be the So we're building the rocket in reverse order. <clears throat> we want to get this to the mun and we want this to get back. So we want to build a stage that has enough fuel. So how much fuel does it get take? I'm going to say it only takes like uh, 550 Delta V, but we're going to double that. I, I want to have about a thousand Delta V to make sure we get back and we could have some problems. So let's make sure, uh, <clears throat> all right looks good make it look better ish <clears throat> um we're gonna do a stage recovery on all the stages too you start getting some of these parts back um so i want a engine plate here turn off the staging now wait a minute if i bring up the scrap yard and i click on wait get rid of this so there's one previous so if i select it all right so let's check this out pod comes back cargo stays on the mount. no we're just doing an orbit so this engine plate has had one previous use and since there's no safety rating, I'm not worried about engine plates failing. But uh, it saves. In career mode, if you use parts from the scrapyard, the, the used parts are cheaper. So, just let y'all know. <laughs> Buzz the neighborhood, yes. All right, so now we're going to take Bobcat, which according to this, we have a... Now, this Bobcat, one previous use, and look at the safety rating compared to this one. Hang on. See, safety rating three, safety rating nine. We're gonna use this one. <clears throat> yeah more use means safer yes all right so um let's turn off the scrap yard for a sec let's get rid of that so this has got enough delta v so let's say we get this to the mun right this has got more than enough delta v to get back um we have no redundancy built in, just in case we have a fuel leak. Uh, all right, so we need to fix that. I need to do a couple of things. <clears throat> if we have to do a Kerbal Rescue, there's no docking ports on this. So what we're gonna do is put docking port here. Actually,
Oh, my eyes are playing tricks on me. I'm trying to get this all nice and lined up pretty. I used to be pretty good at this game. Alex is here. Hi, Alex. Alex waved. It is really cold outside, yes. One sec, guys. Hang on one sec. Alrighty, I'm back. I am back. <clears throat> and I'm uh oh there we go. Yay, finally. I used to be really good at lining that up. I don't know. I guess I'm out of practice. Oh actually that's not that good, is it? That's a lot of lag. We save this hop out <clears throat> and hop back in. Yes, it's 31 degrees outside. Weird. How come one of the sh how come the shoots change? Oh, because I'm damn it. Sorry. Try this again. think yep we got it that time yay all right cool all right so now we have a docking port just in case something happens we have to send a rescue <laughs> um we will be taking we need a an engineer we need a pilot we need a scientist. So for a pilot, let's take Ren. For an engineer, we'll take Orion. And Electro is our scientist. Now hopefully if anything breaks, our engineer will be able to fix it. Okay. All 
All right, so what am I missing here? We got we got our shoots, our backup shoots. Um, if we run out of fuel, I'm not going to send more fuel to fix a problem. We'll just send a rescue. <clears throat> 31. Yikes. Yeah, it's cold. You know, and what's worse is in my area, um, if I look at forecasting, on the 23rd, this coming Friday, 19 degrees saturday 18 degrees so the 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 upcoming christmas is going to be in the teens thanks all right um i i wouldn't say exactly those words like that race but uh sure all right, let's put some uh, solar panels on here. So we got batteries in there. <clears throat> like I said, we're gonna do a stage recovery on this, on, on this stage right here, which would be all of this. Ooh, that'd be cool if I could get all that back. At home, Christmas is going to be a sunny 75. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, so let's grab some pieces of structural. And then we're going to go here. Oh, did I set both shoots? That one is the All right, so the main shoot is set for oh, 1400 that's set for a thousand perfect so we're looking for stage recovery there it is right now with the two shoots we get 97 percent um I think we're gonna make sure we get a hundred though. One hundred percent. All right. So we got that stage taken care of. Again, still plenty of fuel. Um, we don't have a probe core. I'm wondering if we need one. Um, this has got a reaction wheel, right? Yeah, how good is the reaction wheel? Because if, if it fails, we have some control problems. <sighs> oh, that's not a bad reaction wheel at all. All right, so um, let's add. We have a little bit of room in here, I think. Did you go? So on reaction wheels, so it's got the equivalent of that reaction wheel, but if we can somehow, all right, I, I know what I'll do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, Back up, back up reaction wheel. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so let's get the, um, those up there. 
Who knows? There we go. All right, so that is finally done. We have a lot of science. Nice. So now we need a stage uh, that will get us from Kerbin orbit to the Mun. And um, this one does not have to have stage recovery because we're just going to let it impact on the Mun. <clears throat> so let's keep it the same size. So we need. Um, Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, I don't want that. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm confusing myself on what I want to do here. All right. Sorry. Sorry. There. That's what I want. All right. Oh. All right. So, um, again, we're going to be in... In vacuum and let's see here fuel tanks that's a 200 so what about a oh, it's a 16th what about this <clears throat> and what if we use a that that that's gonna do the trick right there actually I think that's too much what if we do another bobcat? Perfect. All right, awesome. So all we have to do is put yet another engine plate. <clears throat> Excuse me, looking for engine plates. Yeah. Let me turn off staging there. So again, once we're in orbit around Kerbin, we have a 1.1 thrust away Earth with a 1700 Delta V. We only need about 900. And again, what we're gonna do is we're going to plot a collision course for the MUN. And what I need to do is change this decouple. So it has no ejection force. And so once we're on our way to the MUN, we decouple. And then we have this change the course and this will stay and it will impact the moon so we we'll, won't have any debris. Yay. Sounds like a great plan. It's dangerous, but yeah, I know. I'm getting lag again. Um, all right. <clears throat> now for the lifter that we do want to do stage recovery with. So we need a um, 25 again. And then we're going to use a fuel adapter here. <laughs> so let's go with uh, six of these. Let's see. Again, this just has to get us into orbit. <clears throat> Hang on.
All right. Um, so engine plate. And our biggest lifter is still that. So let's do, we did four last time. And we got away with it. <clears throat> uh, that doesn't quite get us to orbit though. So we're gonna have to uh, do some other work on this. <clears throat> All right, so first things first, let's... Um, In the event that this has got more fuel, that it has fuel left over once we get into orbit, I want to send it back for recovery. I do have a backup dooski here. Uh, science mode downtown. This is um, my second time ever doing science mode. It's actually very interesting i don't have to worry about finances that much but I, I i like the science grind um and i do i do the stage recovery because i have O scrap and scrap yard so i can i can use older parts <clears throat> all right so let's worry about not stage recovery, but being able to control this after the fact. So let's do uh, my little go-to thing here. We're gonna put a probe core. And then we'll do a, um, we'll do two things here for control. Do a little tiny reaction wheel. And I want to put some batteries on this because when we decouple, the only the only battery is going to be in this. And when when we're using reaction wheels and RCS to move this thing around, we'll drain that electrical charge real fast. So we're going to drop since we haven't used these, we're going to use a couple of these. Actually, let's go with a couple of these. <clears throat> Can I have one of those? Yeah, that would be awesome. There's a mod that's causing all that lag. It's gotta be. All right, that's that. The only thing I can think of, it's a uh, scrapyard. Keeping track of all the parts. So now we can after oh wait we need an antenna all right so it has an antenna so we can communicate it's got a probe core so we can remotely maneuver it we have um some electrical, we have reaction wheels, plus we have RCS with reaction wheels, so we'll be able to move this thing. Now, in the event that all the batteries go hooey and the probe core loses all of its electrical, we're gonna have another redundancy built in here. <clears throat> all right. Now, we got to get this to get the rest of this up in orbit. So we're coming up short by about a thousand Delta V. So let's try. I, we could use SRBs, but I think we're going to make our own.
Oh, wait, we haven't done stage recovery on this yet. Doggone it. <clears throat> All right. Read this. Um, this is probably going to require a few more shoots than I can fit on the pocket. You know, I might have to remove, I, I wonder if scrapyard is a dependency of O scrap because I think that's where all my lag is coming from. Yeah, uh, you, Alex concurs. All right, 40%, 70. Numbers are going up, Alex, not down, up. Okay. <clears throat> 84. And 92. That's right, oh, that's technically a stage, that's right. All right, so we can leave that as that. And don't need stage recovery anymore. Do that uh where'd we go oh there they are huh. <clears throat> all right cool All right, so <clears throat> that gets us uh, stage recovery. So let's move all these parachutes out of here. Why increase the part count with the beam? Just put the chutes. Well, because I could tag, I could glue all those chutes, but then when I want to offset them in that means i have to offset all of them so the part count doesn't really concern me since um you know we got strutting going on but putting them putting a beam and then putting it in in a symmetry allows me to put multiple shoots and then i can just slide them all in so if i need to adjust the shoot depth or whatever all i have to do is move one part instead of 10 parts Uh, and just to spam them on the outside, it, it doesn't look very neat and tidy. It's preference. All right, so this isn't getting where we want to go. So now let's uh, go back to our original thing. And let's work with one side first. And... Um, Mm-hmm. 
Is that on grandparent? <laughs> Actually, it should be on grand. All right. All right, now we want to do stage recovery on the boosters too. I want to recover all the parts. So instead of putting this booster in symmetry, we're going to build our stage recovery on this one. Once we get the green light, then we can replicate it. We don't have to build all that stuff again. Um, so same, same dealio. Stage recovery. Is that 92? No, I can't. That's something else. Still red. Yeah. There we go, 57. Oops. Ninety six percent. I can live with that. That'll work. All right, let's get rid of stage recovery. Um, so we're gonna put some struts on this just in case. I'm going to uh, probably tomorrow <clears throat> for the stream. I'm going to take out those two mods and see if my lag goes away. If it does, then it's a bummer because I was looking forward to having to deal with uh, problems, you know. I know the mod author of um, Stage Recovery, I think is working on another version, I think. All right. 
Okay, so now go save. Take this off. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, it's in symmetry. Dang it. Hey, Notable, how you doing? <clears throat> Having all kinds of laggy issues here. Very tired. Orlando, go to Universal or Disney. Oh, wow, nice. I know Alex and the fam went to Universal and then they took the, uh, the Disney cruise to uh, Castaway Island. Oh, nice. So cool. All right. Is that one crooked? I'm not going to worry about that. All right. Let's try this again. All right. Actually, no. Let's not try this. Again. I'm getting close. You know what? Maybe I'll actually try removing the mods after this launch. Whenever I have a part in my hand, there's lag. All right, so let's do this right now. Save it, hop out. Oh. All good. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy our current installation. And then um, we'll remove the two mods with CCAN. Hop back in and see if we still have the problem. All right, so. so this is our current one. We don't need this one anymore. Uh, time to crack open the juice key. All right, so this is our active career. We're going to copy it, paste it, so we have a backup of it. Because C can is up there. Hang on. Come on, Pookie. I know. It's you and me. You're not a fan. I know. I get it. <clears throat> That worked. All right, so now let's bring up CCAN. And we're looking for O scrap. 
Now, if we go to remove this, it should say, hey, you gotta take out scrap yard. That's fine. Uh, delete the directories. So let's make sure it actually did delete both directories. So we're looking for O scrap. I don't see an O anything or scrap yard. I don't see a scrap yard either. All right. <laughs> I'm thinking something's bogging it down. I think it's each time I have a part in my hand, I think the scrap yard is keeping track of that part somehow. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back. All right, let's uh, see how this improves or not. 
what we did is removed a really cool mod i've i've had i've used it before and i didn't have any lag issues with it um uh, so it it it's an inventory system but also a part failure system um but there's two separate mods there's the one that does a part failure and unfortunately a dependency is the part inventory the, the scrap yard so i think let's see what happens here <clears throat> hey good morning saturn how you doing all right let's load up the craft we've been working on all right no lag but again we don't have a part in our hand to a save and if we grab this no lag here comes a mo yep. okay so it was those two mods aren't it so i will report that to the mod author and um that is a lot better <laughs> um what we want to do here grab all these shoots these are stage recovery shoots so what is the purpose with stage recovery now well um gonna we're gonna keep them going shouldn't be any more shoots um just in case this uh the mod author fixes it now we still oops, hang on we still don't have that's barely enough to get to orbit but what we're going to do here is we're going to do fuel lines And I'm going to go in here and clean all this stuff up now. Oh, this is so much. Fun. That looks good. No more lag. <clears throat> so now we've built this with stage recovery. We've built this and duplicate it with stage recovery. And then now we have, I believe, more than enough to get us to orbit. A standard 80, 85 kilometer orbit with our boosters we'll have for a minute. So for one minute, we're gonna run full, full thrust, boosters and main. After we attach these, because we're using these uh, these fuel ducts, the fuel will be pumped back into here. So when we separate these, we'll have a full tank. And we'll have this for a little over two minutes. So it takes a roughly 3,500 Delta V to get to orbit. So we have 300 Delta V over. Let's see if it works. <clears throat> Let's check our uh, staging in here. Let's get our crew back on board. So again, for pilot, we're gonna take Ren. For an engineer is Orion. And for a scientist, we're gonna take uh, Electro. All right, so we got all of our engines. Okay, oh, we need our lamp, or lamp things. that in stage recovery <clears throat> all right um let's do this so this is sending Kerbals to the moon, get in orbit, click some science, then come back. <laughs> now, means that we have a, all our science packages in a service bay here. And we are putting that there, that's right.
I don't think we can fly like that. But we can start our launch like that. tell me it doesn't tell me how many times this part's been used <clears throat> uh oh that's weird. oh that's right because we're not yeah okay i don't have to worry about part failure never mind Big Ben in there. Good morning with a 45 month. Oh, there goes our boosters. 45 month resub. Wow, Ben. Nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry. I just shot a message to the mod developer of O Scrap, letting him know that I had to remove his mod because of lag. <clears throat> I was gonna want log files. Ben, again, thank you for the resub. Appreciate that. A lot. And we got a successful stage recovery of those guys. Stop doing the beans. Uh, actually, this month, yeah, this year is going, we're not going to do beans anymore. So at the at the end of the month, or maybe New Year's or something like that, I'll do. I'm collecting all everyone's. So when I got sick for a couple weeks, I wasn't doing them. And then I, I uh, Twitch is changing how they're doing bits, and so it's it doesn't seem that fun anymore because of how they're changing the way that the, the system works. Where are we at? Oh, okay. So uh, I'm going to come up with something else for 2023. Moon motion. Yeah, we're going to get into orbit. Like some science. Wait, it's funny. There it is. So I'll do a massive bean consumption. Oh, look at that thing. All right, so we need 682 to get in orbit. So that means we're going to have to deorbit this ourselves. No landing on the moon, just orbit, <clears throat> testing out a new rig. I could have built the lander, but we've been using up until about 20 minutes ago or so we were using a part failure mod so i've been taking baby steps
All right. That is orbit. So we'll get rid of this stage. And if I did this correctly, oh, I didn't want to do that. We should be able to switch to it. And we have communication because we have an antenna and we're going to turn on the RCS and back it away from the main craft. Then we'll switch it to retrograde. Let's go ahead and um, activate that engine. Turn on the lights. Let's get our solar panels deployed. Maybe. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, guys. Um, uh, got those. Oh, nice. That was the boosters, I think. All right, there's the moon. Now, again, the stage we have is not a recoverable stage, so we want to keep um, this collision course. Like so. And then once we, once we get well on our way to the MUN, we'll separate from the stage and we'll do a course correction. Or we'll, yeah, we'll do a course correction, get out of the way from it. And, uh, Another stage recovery. Nice. <clears throat> wow. This throat thing is bugging me. Eight fifty five, we have sixteen hundred. That is a long burn.
Again, we're looking for a collision course here. Right, then what we do is um, we get on our way. We'll point prograde. Then we're going to uh, click some science here. <clears throat> this decoupler should have no good. Then we're going to get to about here. And we separate, nice. Then we do a course correction. So we don't impact the mine and kill the turbals. That would be bad. One sec, guys. All right, I'm back. All right, so let's add add some prograde here. And let's get a low orbit, like about 30 kilometers. That sounds fun. Yeah, 32. <clears throat> so why, do, why am I doing that? I don't want to leave this piece of debris. Floating around anywhere. Perfect. All right. So let's uh, zip out here. So even though I botched the deployment of, of uh, our first saddle, it looks like they're staying within range of each other, which is gay for me. All right, massive science collection going on now. So I have, <clears throat> I've got a mod called Auto Science Sampler right here that I've got it set up to collect the science and there's a, an option here to where you can hide the dialogue. So the science collection, I see the messages here and that way I, I know we're collecting it and we're storing it in our command pod. So right now we have collected 11. I got a weird shadowy. I don't know what that is. All right. Uh, all right, let's get an orbit around the moon. Oh, it's that thing weird all right circular eyes it's gonna cost 267 and we have 1977 what we'll do here <laughs> we'll do a quick save once we get an orbit and then we'll uh, reload and see if that goes away i'm having all sorts of little glitches today hey there's the mun did you guys scratch did you guys catch the screenshot by chance of when the uh, Orion capsule caught a photograph that looked very similar to the famous, what was it, Apollo 10? 
about the earth in the background. It, it's weird because back then the moon was the moon, but then the updated picture, it looks so weathered, you know, because you got more detail, a lot more detail. All right. So there's, there's our quick save. Then we'll do an F9 and that's our quick save right here. Load that. <clears throat> that's a mod, by the way, by Linux gamer. And no, we still, still have it. Uh, oh, well. All right. So I'm um, collecting nice chunks of science here. We have stage recovery built into this too. So hopefully we can recover all these parts. That would be nice. It means we get more money back. Even though we're not spending. All right, let's uh, tell the computer to plot us a course home. Let's take a look at the periapsis, see how close that is. No, that's a little too close. <clears throat> That'll work. We'll see if we can get close to uh, maybe KSC. This throat tickle is really bothering me. <clears throat> I do not want to get sick this week. Tell you what, with the temperatures as cold as I'm not going over the house. I mean, even though the, the heating works fine, it's just why go up because I'm back and forth from the garage and stuff. And in the garage, it's a freezing. I think it's better safe just to <coughs> keep warm and bundled up. Huh, yep. I got rid of that cough pretty much, but <clears throat> yesterday we were doing some work at the house, which I don't think has anything to do with it. I mean, we did go outside and we pulled a storm window off and I was in shorts and it was cold. So I probably, but I had a sweatshirt on it. I was working up a sweat too. So it's, it's probably the elements. No more science. Cool. All right, let's point retrograde. And um, <clears throat> I pretty much shook the cough, but um, what I have is a, a scratchy tickle and um, when it gets dry, I'll cough. I took some NyQuil last night, uh, the capsules. Yeah, I zong. I fell asleep on the couch at 9.30. Went to bed. Not too long after that. All right, let's uh, play our shoots. And... All right, let's go ahead and say goodbye to this stage. No more science collection. Shoots are enabled. It says we can do an EVA report. There are scientists. All right. Let's 
Coming back with 18 experiments. All right, dragging the apoapsy in. <clears throat> What I'm going to do is stop drinking soda today. I'm going to start drinking apple juice and Gatorade and just get the fluid content going. Um, maybe take some Dayquil, some Mucinex, maybe. <laughs> Try to get a preemptive assault deck on this. That virus was the worst ever. Oh, yeah. I, I think I had the flu, the normal flu. Because I can I can taste stuff just fine. I know it's not COVID. Yeah, I felt fine until about six or seven. Then I started <clears throat> started getting the tickle. You know, I think there's an Easter egg in here or a relay station. I can't remember. It's like it's going to be a water landing. <clears throat> well, what helped me was when pretty much all the congestion was gone, everything was gone. I still had the cough. I was just taking Dayquil. To suppress it and then finally it went away yay cool All right, it says we can do an EVA report, but we're going way too fast. Anyone to get out? Still 18 experiments. Nice. We got safe shoot indicators. And none of these guys have got shoots, I don't think. Is there a way, I, if I do this, right. So let's take a look at, so Ren's a level one. Oh, he does have a shoot. All right, wait a minute. Now I think their inv oh, their inventory shows a shoot, but I don't think they actually have shoots. Oh, he does have a shoot. Uh oh, good thing he's got a shoot. Shoots will deploy automatically down there. You're set to... Well, that was interesting. <laughs> our, uh, our pilot decided to go AWOL here. <clears throat> and we're gaining on it. Because their shoots have deployed. <laughs> this hasn't deployed yet. You know, I should call mine Kerbal Kill Program Kerbal, instead of Kerbal Space Program. Oh, the shoots. Oh, yeah, the shoots have deployed. <clears throat> there we go.
I wonder if we can reacquire the capsule. No slowing down. You know, Kerbal Splat pro or Kerr Splat, yes. I'm sorry, guys. Kerbal roasting. All right, they splash down. Nice and safe, like. All right. <clears throat> hey, a surface sample. <laughs> Excuse me. We're getting there. Let's we'll turn that off. That, that's annoying. How can I climb when I'm 15 minutes? Uh, that's a bug. <laughs> yep. Well, at least we know the shoots work. together now 23 how much science they got because we are out pretty much wow 700 that's right back where we were nice job guys nice job indeed metals ribbons all right guys in lieu of my uh, throat tickle here i think <clears throat> i'm gonna go not talk for the rest of the day so let's roll some credits here real quick do, 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 do. once again if you guys miss any of the uh streams or any anything I, I am taking all these videos ben and editor thank you so much for the resub guys ren we'll see you later uh youtube channel is youtube slash at gamer circle you can see all these up there thanks race i will See you guys.